Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pabli. So the topic for today's video is automatically add Zoom meeting or webinar registrants to Salesforce. Now suppose guys you are a business owner and you are using Zoom to host some kind of meetings and webinars online and you want that the leads or the contacts you are generating from that meeting you want to nurture them. So you want to add them in a CRM application just like Salesforce. Now guys, every time a new registrant get added for your meeting or webinar, you have to manually get the details of that registrant and manually add that person into your Salesforce CRM. And this manual process is very much repetitive and time consuming on a daily basis. So in this video, I came up with an awesome automation for you by which whenever a new user will get added as a registrant for our Zoom meeting or Zoom webinar, automatically the very same person will also be get added as a contact in our Salesforce CRM. Interesting, right? So guys, you must be thinking how we are going to do this. So to make this happen, we will be using Pabli Connect, which is an automation and integration software. Now, what is the actual step-by-step -step guide to set up this automation and how you can create this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on the Pabli Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y pabli.com slash connect and after reaching to the landing page of Pabli Connect by clicking on sign up free you can create your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes or if you already have an account just click on sign in so after reaching this dashboard click on create workflow and give this workflow a name for example I'll name my workflow as zoom to salesforce zoom to salesforce and click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is, first we will get the details or the data of new registrants who are registering for our Zoom meeting or Zoom webinar from Zoom inside Pabli Connect. And after that using Pabli Connect, we will send that very same data of those registrants to Salesforce to add them as a new contact. So here in trigger window, in choose app, search for Zoom. Zoom it is. And after that it is asking us trigger event. So here in trigger event, we will select configure webhook. After selecting configure webhook, Pabli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now we will use this webhook URL to make the connection between Zoom and Pabli Connect. And how you can make the connection, you can refer to the hyperlink given over here. So just copy this webhook URL from here, go to your Zoom account and on the left side we can see an option named as advanced or at last. Just click on advanced and click on app marketplace. Then in the new tab, we can see that Zoom app marketplace is open over here. Just hover on the right top corner on develop and click on build app. Now guys, you must be thinking that this is a very tough or complex process, but no, it's not like that. It is very simple process. After clicking on build an app, just scroll down and here we have an option named as webhook only. Click on create and give your app a name. For example, I'll name my app as Pabli Connect. Click on create. Now after that we have to enter some, some details of our company. So let's enter the details. I'll enter my name and the email address. Then click on continue. Now at this very same page of add feature, we have a verification token and we have an option named as event subscription. So turn this button on, switch this button to the right side and click on add event subscription. Then we have to give this subscription name. So for example, I'll name this subscription as Salesforce. Salesforce. And then here in the event notification endpoint URL, we have to basically paste the very same webhook URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. So just paste this very same webhook URL over here. After that, it is asking us events. So just click on this add event button. And if you are, uh, want to add the registrant of your Zoom meeting registrant inside Pabli Connect or get the data of Zoom meeting registrant inside Pabli Connect and add them to Salesforce, go to meetings, scroll down and select the event named as meeting registration has been created. 
So just select this. And if you want to do the very same thing for webinars, just go on webinar, click on webinar and select the webinar registration has been created this event over here. You can choose your event according to your choice or you can choose very, the very same both events as well. So I'll click select the both events and click on done. Click on save and the connection is con successful. So just now we have connected our Zoom account with Pavli Connect so that whenever a new registrant will be added in our Zoom meeting or our in Zoom webinar, automatically the details or the data of that very same new registrant will be sent from Zoom to Pavli Connect. Just click on continue over here and the app is active in our account, we can see that. So after making a connection, let's create a dummy registrant, a test registrant in our Zoom account. So let's go to Zoom over here then this is a meeting which I have created for uh, the 13th of July at 10 a.m. So we will create a dummy registrant on this very same meeting. Click on this meeting. And here we can see the registration link of this. Let's open this link in a new tab. And here is the page. So guys, basically we have to enter the details of a dummy user over here. So let's enter the name. The name is Ashirai. As you can see, first name, last name. Let's enter the email address of a dummy user, for example. Okay, so this is the email address of the very same dummy user. Mm, yes, it is done. Okay, so this is the email address of that very same dummy user. After that, let's enter the mobile number as well. And after entering the details of a dummy user, just click on register. And a new registrant is created in our meeting named as developers conference. Now guys, because we have connected Pavli Connect with Zoom, the details or the data of this very same new registrant will be captured inside Pavli Connect. So let's go to Pavli Connect over here. And yes guys. Here in trigger window, we have received a response from Zoom and in this response, we will see we have the name of the meeting, which for the name of the event for which the registrant has registered. Then we will scroll down and we will find the name of the customer or the registrant who has registered for the, this meeting as well as their email address. And when we will scroll down, we will find the, their mobile number as well. So guys, the step one of setting up this automation is now successfully completed. We have successfully collected the details or the data of the new registrant, which were adding in our Zoom meeting or Zoom webinar inside Pavli Connect. And guys, we can see this very same registrant over here in our Zoom meeting page as well. We will scroll down and click on this manage registrant page. And yes, guys, you can see very same registrant over here. So after that, let's move to step two. Now we have to send this very same contact details of this user who has just now registered in our Zoom meeting or Zoom webinar to Salesforce. For that, we will scroll down and click on this action window, button, window over here. And here in Choose app, we will search for Salesforce. Salesforce it is. After that, in action event, we will select Create Contact. So this is action event named as Create Contact. Click on Connect, select Add New Connection, and click on connect with Salesforce. So guys, because I have already logged into my Salesforce account in my browser, as you can see over here, Pavli Connect detected the very same account and asking us for the authorization permission. So just click on allow. And now we can see that our Salesforce account is successfully connected with Pavli Connect. Now after making the connection, it is asking us for the last name of the contact which we want to create in our Salesforce account. So we have received the first name, last name, email and phone number of our Zoom meeting registrant from our Zoom responses in our trigger window. So this is the last name. So we have to basically map this very same response, very same last name from response from Zoom to this window over here in last name. And the process of mapping guys is very simple. Simply just click on this field and from the drop down below, you can see all the responses which we have received from Zoom. And out of all those responses, select the response of last name. Now after that, we, it is asking us for the first name. So we will follow the same process of mapping to map the first name as well. Map the first name. Then it is asking us for the address. So we haven't received the uh, address of the Zoom registrant in our Zoom registration form. And these fields are not mandatory, not required. So we can ignore these fields for now. Then we will scroll down. Then it is asking us for the mobile number. So we will map the mobile number from Zoom responses. So this is the mobile number. We will map it. After that, it is asking us for the email. So we have also received the email. So we'll map the email address as well. 
and after that we'll just scroll down and click on this save and send test request. And yes guys, after clicking on save and send test request, we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the details of the contact, basically the Zoom meeting registrant which we have created just now, is now successfully added as a contact in our Salesforce account. So let's check it. We will go to the home page of our Salesforce account and go to contact section. And yes guys, we can see that just now the details of the very same user which we have added while making the Zoom meeting registration, Ashirai, that very same user is now successfully added as a new contact in our Salesforce account. Which means the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now every time a new registrant will be added in my Zoom meeting or Zoom registrant, automatically the very same user with very same details will be added as a new contact in my Salesforce CRM. So after setting up this automation, we just have to test this automation once. We'll go to the Zoom registration page once again. And this time we will enter the details of a new user or a new registrant over here. So let's enter the details. So this is the name of the user. This is the email. And this is this very same email once again. Let's enter the phone number. And after entering all these details, just click on register. I'm not a robot for sure. And we can see that just now we have created a new registrant in our Zoom meeting. Now, because we have created this automation, we will see that this very same detail, with this very same user who has registered for our Zoom meeting will also be added as a contact in our Salesforce CRM. So let's get back to Salesforce, refresh this contact page once. And yes guys, we can see that that very same registrant is now instantly added as a new contact in our Salesforce CRM. Which means we have tested this automation in real time and we saw that this automation is working perfectly fine. Now after creating this automation and testing it, let's get back to Pavli Connect and understand in brief that what are the steps we followed while setting up this automation. So first we have created a workflow inside Pavli Connect and in this workflow we have selected Zoom as a trigger application and configure webhook was our trigger event. After that using a webhook URL, we have connected our Zoom account with Pavli Connect so that we can get the details or the data of new Zoom meeting or webinar registrant inside Pavli Connect. So after getting that response, we have sent that very same data, very same response to Salesforce to add that very same registrant as a contact in our Salesforce CRM. So not just these applications guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this very same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this very same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check Pavli Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video, don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you, have a nice day.